Hey Crafter Fam, if you want to make this adorable October themed DIY baby crate, then stay tuned for the next steps in this tutorial. So your next step is going to be to get all your wooden supplies painted. Now I chose a sage chalk paint, but you can choose whatever color you want. And you just want to make sure you cover every surface of your crate on the outside and every surface of your dowels of all three dowels um, on the outside so in this next step you're gonna want to apply a generous amount of wood glue to the corner of the crate and then press firmly the wood dowel into that crease um, Wood glue takes quite a bit of time to dry, so I suggest using hot glue after you have pressed the wood dowel into the corner on top of the glue, and then use the hot glue on the outside of the wood dowel to secure it in place quickly. You can also use clamps to hold down the dowel and secure it in place while the wood glue is drying. I did not have any clamps, so I actually used a, um, a pipe cleaner to secure my dowel and tie it to the plate while the wood glue was drying. Next, after your two dowels, next after your upright dowels are secure in each corner, you're going to use your third dowel and lay it on top of the crate to measure out how long you want it to hang on each end. I would cut off, if you have a dowel that's this long, I would cut off about um, two to three inches on each end, either using a saw or the next tool. The tool that I'm using, it is actually for um, cutting pipes, like PVC pipes, but you can basically use it to cut anything, any type of round material. You're going to want to tighten the, um, twist the bottom of the handle to tighten it against the surface of the stick or pole that you are going to be cutting. That makes the blade go into the material and cut it as it's twisted around. So once you have your crossbar cut down, you just want to secure it evenly between the two upright dowels with a uh, with a set of zip ties so i am tying the zip ties in a x formation to secure it to the upright dowels so that way my crossbar does not fall down you can also add a third zip tie to the bottom underneath the crossbar once you have your crossbar secure you want to add your garland i'm using this white eucalyptus garland it's six feet long, so I cut it in half and put each foot on each upright dowel. I twisted the garland around the dowel to conceal any imperfections that may have been there. And then I am tying the top of the garland to the crossbar where it meets the upright. Um, and I'm just triple double knotting it with twine and you can use any length of twine you're, you're going to cut off the excess anyway and do that to both sides we're going to add our box to fill in some of the space in our crate so we can add all of our fun little baby gifts inside and once you take your uh, blanket or a towel to conceal the box you can get to the fun part which is basically adding all the pumpkins all the little gifts for the newborn and mommy to be
as you guys can see, I added a few flowers at the top of the crossbar to further conceal, um, to further conceal the twine and any um, imperfections that may have been there where the two dowels meet. But other than that, this is the final look. I hope you guys love this color scheme. I absolutely love these colors for fall. I think it's a very soft color palette that. Um, just makes everything feel warm and cozy so if you guys click on your screen you'll see the next best video for you to watch and thank you for tuning in